Various types of gestures, such as arm swinging and foot stepping, have been proposed for locomotion in place in virtual reality. For the limb-based gestures, existing works usually utilize the swinging and stepping frequency or the amplitude of the vertical foot and arm movement to control the walking speed. However, it is unknown how users may perform these gestures to control or switch across a large range of virtual walking speeds, especially when the virtual walking speed is much larger than the normal walking speed. In this paper, we focus on the foot and leg gesture-based locomotion techniques for controlling a wide range of virtual walking speeds, from a normal fast walking speed to a high speed which is much larger than the normal walking speed. We conducted three studies on leg gesture-based speed control. First, we investigated the user's behavior and preference towards gesture-based speed control for locomotion in place in VR. Second, we experimented and developed the data-driven gesture-based locomotion in place speed control models. Third, we evaluated the effectiveness of gesture-based locomotion in place speed control for the target reaching task in VR. The experiment was conducted in a 5 meters times 5 meters research lab in a local university. We developed a virtual world prototype using Unity 3D 2019. In the first user experiment, we investigated how users may perform and perceive the selected foot and leg based locomotion in place techniques for matching different virtual walking speeds. This was to determine the techniques which is preferred by the users for speed control. We performed a comparative study using a within subjects design including three selected foot and leg gestures, including marching, tapping and goose stepping, and two body postures, including standing and sitting, resulting in six conditions. We have selected three types of virtual walking speeds, one times, three times, and ten times. For each speed, the participant was asked to perform the foot or leg gesture to match the visual virtual walking speed in the virtual world. Our first user study suggested the gesture of marching in place was significantly preferred by users across three different virtual walking speeds in both sitting and standing. Based on the tracker data recorded in the first study, we developed an amplitude-based speed control mechanism using the support vector machine classification model. The overall accuracy for classifying three speed levels was above 90% for sitting and standing. With the SVM model trained for three-level speed classification, we conducted the second user study to investigate the effectiveness of using gesture-based speed control for locomotion in place in VR. We compared the user performance and the user experience of using controller-based teleportation, controller-based speed control with marching in place, and gesture-based speed control with marching in place, for the task of target reaching in VR. The results show that there was no significant difference between the two conditions in terms of offset to the target. More importantly, the technique of marching in place yielded significantly higher user ratings in terms of naturalness and sense of presence than the teleportation did. We also developed some application examples to simulate real application scenarios.